Astrotometry log, it is May 16th, 2010. It's approximately 1759 at the time of this recording. This is a follow-up on the Southern Hemisphere Tropical Cyclone Watch from uh, May 5th. And I wanted to go ahead and follow up on this. There were two disturbances in the Southern Hemisphere that have been tracked by the Naval Research Laboratory since the 11th of May. And neither of these have developed into tropical um, storm strength winds yet. So if you'll recall, there was a significant ejection on the 3rd, and then another ejection at the end of the 5th. Ejected very, very quickly. And so in time space, the theory is that this may have actually lapped uh, the other CME. This may have actually passed through it. And depending on the trajectories of these events, depending on how these uh, events interfered with one another through time space, quite technically, um, these interference patterns are the resulting uh, phenomenon when it reaches the Earth. So this is an image from the um, 13th of May, and you can see here the disturbances here in the Southern Hemisphere. And the theory is, had these events been separated farther in time, that they would have produced uh, tropical cyclones rather than um, just these tropical, what are called tropical depressions. And so it's still possible that we will see uh, a tropical cyclone uh, from the events on the the second and third of uh, of May, but at this point, I'm guessing that these two are going to be duds, and that they're just going to uh, simply have been uh, tropical depressions. But I wanted to follow up on that. We still haven't seen a tropical cyclone since the uh, 24th of last month, so we're we're getting up on a solid month with uh, no tropical storms even, um, in a time when the uh, waters are, are very well warm enough for it. And, you know, in astrotometry, the reason is that the sun has been so calm. Uh, we're, we're entering another period of incredibly calm period, and this was a sort of anomaly. This, this period here was sort of an anomaly in the coronal mass ejections that we've seen uh, so far this year. Now this is normal activity. This is this is normally in in the in the solar cycle. This is seen all the time. But as of late, this has been very rare, and this is why I uh, put out a forecast for these disturbances. But it doesn't look like um, they were separated in time well enough to be able to form into uh, cyclones. Instead, we have these uh, these just intense tropical depressions. So that's a follow up for that and. Um, so the watch for those cyclones is over now.